Well, good morning. Welcome back to the Broadcast Retirement Network. I'm Jeff Snyder. This is BRNAM for Friday, February 25th, 2022. And our top story today, America saves building financial resilience. Today's show is brought to you in partnership with Funding Our Future. And joining me now to discuss America saves and a lot more, Kia McAllister Young is the director of America Saves. Kia, great to see you. Thanks so much for joining us on the program this morning. Of course, and thank you so much for having me. Yeah, it's great. And and for those watching that may not be aware, Kia, this is America Saves Week. This is a week that has been established since 2007. Why don't you give us a little bit of background about America Saves, the reach that you all have, and the great some of the great work that you're doing? Of course, um, it's my favorite thing to talk about. So <laughs> this is the 15th annual America Saves Week. Um, and we say that the week is just a time for every individual, every American to do a financial check-in with themselves. Um, but uh, more farther than the week or, or beyond the week, um, America Saves is an initiative of the Consumer Federation of America. So we're very focused on um, consumer advocacy and, and privacy. Um, for all consumers, but the focus of the America Saves campaign is to help create um, better and more effective saving habits. Um, a lot of the information that you hear about personal finance is a lot of uh, really overwhelming for a lot of people. And so our goal is to make saving easier, um, to help you get excited about saving, reducing debt, and beginning building wealth. Yeah, and I look. I think you're speaking my personal language and the language here on the network, and and I, this is a great initiative, one that I have known a long time about. Let's talk about this year's theme uh, because it's about building res resiliency. And I get the sense, and I want to get it from you. Some of this maybe has to do with resiliency from the pandemic. A lot of us face not only health challenges, which are obviously significant and severe, uh, but also economic challenges, and but. We, we have the, as Americans, we have the ability to bounce back. Absolutely. And you're absolutely correct. Um, that is why we chose the theme. It's actually the first time we've had an overall theme um, because we have seen the ramifications of the pandemic. We get to actually talk to our savers and hear their stories um, over the past couple of years and the kind of... Uh, kind of common ground among everyone is they don't want to be in this situation again. How can I better prepare for the next time? Um, and we see that there is this movement to be resilient and to make sure that this they're never caught off guard again in this way. And so um, we thought that it would be a great thing because that's what our savers are focused on right now. Yeah, absolutely. Let, let's talk about today's theme. And you've got a theme for or a topic for every day this week. And you know, America Saves ran, started on Monday, the 21st, and closes today, the 25th. Today, it's Save as a Family. And I love this. America is a family society. Saving is very important for all of us to learn. We've, we often talk about financial literacy, financial wellness. But what are some of the key takeaways for saving as a family? Yeah. So, you know, those conversations that I was telling you that we have with our savers, a lot of our young adults tell us, oh, we... We know that we're supposed to stay, save. We have no idea how to do it. And so um, one of our goals is to make sure that we start having those conversations earlier um, and that they are always age appropriate. And so we chose Save as a Family as a, a topic to kind of help us um, continue to start that um, idea of saving early and instilling that early. So we want to incorporate those money, those hard money conversations um, from a very young age. And so that's why we're, we're very focused on Save as a Family as a topic for America Saves Week. Yeah, and, and let's talk about some of the tools that are available. And, and, and just as an aside, I grew up playing the game of life, Monopoly. And by the way, we're not sponsored at all by Parker Brothers, but those are some <laughs> fabulous games. Yeah. Also like Candyland and Shoots and Ladders. But there's some wonderful tools that you and America Saves and the 
uh, confederation, um, uh, excuse me, uh, the organization has come up with, what can you tell us? What, what's out there on the site and where can people go to get as much information as possible? Yeah, so one of the resources we created this year is um, a kind of like a download where you can literally um, have your entire family's individual savings goal and then write out what your family savings goal is. So kind of encouraging you to start those money conversations. What are you guys saving for as a family? Is it a trip to Disney when it's safe or is it a trip somewhere else? Or is there like something in the house that you wanna add, maybe changing the garage into a playroom or something like that. So what's the family savings goal? And then what are those individual savings goals for every person in your family? What are they focused on saving for? So it's a, it, it also has some prompts for you as parents to ask them some questions to get them thinking about saving. So that's one of our favorite resources for Save as a Family this year. But if you go to americasaves.org, we have lots of resources around um, Save as a Family. There's one blog that's five easy ways to start um, your kids saving. And we have several different blogs in that nature, um, ways to kind of get you thinking about how to have those age appropriate conversations with your kids, teenagers. Um, one of our initiatives here at America Saves is America Saves for Young Workers where we literally work with summer youth employment programs um, that are hiring teens for the first time each summer and help them open up a savings account. So they're saving from that very first job. So we're really focused on not just talking about it, but being about it and having that very tangible, like on the job uh, way of savings for, for our youth and teens. Yep, and, and there's no better time to start than right now. Kia, I need to take a very quick break. We come back, we'll talk more about America Saves Week and how you can help your family and those around you learn about money and save. You're gonna to wanna to stay tuned right here on BRN AM. Imagine a new television network that will make you richer, healthier, and in control of your financial future. This network is for the policewoman in Nashville, Tennessee, the baker in Dubuque, Iowa, the teacher in Lexington, Kentucky. We want to make the idea of savings and retirement culturally relevant. But what do you see as a defining issue of the midterms? Especially for the smaller businesses. I mean, they are the lifeblood of the American economy. Featuring exclusive interviews, current affairs, and docu-series. 33 yeah. years old, you retired early. The philosophy is money only matters if it helps you live a life that you love. But you gotta start thinking about retirement as soon as you get in. The Broadcast Retirement Network will drive very high engagement with premium partnerships. So this isn't retirement and savings for your parents or grandparents. This is for all Americans. And we're gonna change the way you think about money. Welcome to the next frontier of retirement and savings. This is BRN, the Broadcast Retirement Network. Are you over 50? Would you like to get up to 33% more income in retirement? Then call now for this free book, Annuity Do's and Don'ts for Baby Boomers. This free book reveals little known secrets about annuity strategies that will help you make the right choices before buying an annuity. Call right now for your free book. And as a bonus, we'll also throw in a free annuity rate report, both absolutely free for calling Annuity General today. Call 800-504-8194. It's not some magical number. And it's not something we just achieve at the end. It's a feeling of freedom to live our lives the way we intended, through the ups, the downs, all of it. This is financial security. And Lincoln Financial Solutions will help you get there as you plan, protect, and retire. This is Lincoln Financial. 
Welcome back. We're talking this morning to Kia McAllister Young. She is the director of America Saves. Kia, thanks so much for staying with us this morning. Of course, I'm here as long as you need me, Jeff. <laughs> oh, oh, we love again. I, you know, I could see this as a recurring uh, theme throughout our programming. We, you know, we'd love to have you back. Uh, when you were describing goals as a family, you know, I was thinking about, you know, when you were growing up and you, you stood up against the wall and your parents would measure how tall you are. And that to me is, uh, that was really effective uh, motivation for me is to, to eat my, my, my vitamins and eat my vegetables, et cetera. But, uh, you know, minding your goals is a great way to save. Absolutely. It gives kids something exciting to think about in the future. Um, and it, you know, if it's something they have chosen, then they're more, they have more interest, they're more involved. And so um, having those conversations and asking them what they want to save for um, kind of gets them in that mindset that we want to carry them through adulthood. Yeah. Is the piggy bank, has, has the piggy bank gone the way of the dodo? When I was a kid, I used to have a piggy bank. I mean, uh, is it now Venmo and uh, your, your phone? I mean, or, or does the piggy, I have to ask you. I just thought of this, but has the piggy bank, is that gone or is that, or is that back in vogue? It's not, it's not completely gone. Let me tell you, I have three kids in three different age ranges. So we are definitely, I definitely get all the cash apps and Venmos for my teenagers, but my eight year old doesn't have a phone yet. And so piggy banks still work for him. So again, all going back to what's age appropriate, you know, some, some, even your toddlers, you can really talk about savings from an intangible way, you know, making sure that they turn the water off so that they know that if that water's running, that increases the, you know, the utilities that we have to pay. Um, so there's some intangible ways and tangible ways. And I think, you know, however you can get them thinking about saving, whether it's a piggy bank, or if it's, you know, every time mama cash apps you, you have to save 10%, then let's get it done by any means necessary. Yeah, that, absolutely. I, you know, I was just curious. I mean, I'm old enough to remember a piggy bank. I had a nice smiley face piggy bank. And although he, he, he would get a frown if I ever took money out to buy that Atari 2600. Uh, let's talk about, you're also partnering, you're, you also have initiative, not only America Saves, but also with the U.S. military. And those are folks that oftentimes need help when they're, you know, these, these folks dedicated to protecting America, protecting our rights uh, from foreign adversaries, um, but they need help as well when it comes to saving. Absolutely. So one of our, our initiatives at America Saves is Military Saves. Very close to my heart. I'm actually a veteran, um, was a military spouse for over 15 years. So we are a military family. Um, and, you know, they have different opportunities and challenges when you are a military family from the consistent PCSing and um, a lot of people that aren't familiar with the military think, oh, the military takes care of everything and you don't have to pay for anything. That is absolutely not true. Um, you definitely have some expenses every time you move and you might get reimbursed for some of it, um, but you have to have that money up front and you might not get reimbursed for the entire time. So those PCSs, those deployments, um, military spouses have a higher rate of unemployment. Almost 25% of military mm -hmm. spouses um, are unemployed, not because they don't want to, but because it, there is kind of a bias toward hiring those spouses because employers know, oh, they may not be here for very long. Um, and so there are some very unique challenges to saving when you're a military family. And so that's why it was important for us to have a, a campaign or initiative that's strictly focused on our, our service members and their families and caregivers. Kia, you know, we're at the close of America Stage Week, but that doesn't mean saving shouldn't be near and dear to our heart for the other 51 weeks of the year. What's on tap? I mean, how do we keep this front of mind? Uh, we might have America Saves Week, but there's a lot of work to be done over the next year uh, what should we be keeping in mind? Yeah, absolutely. Well, first I want to mention, I forgot to mention that Military Saves Month is actually April 1st through April 30th. So if you have employees or friends or family that are military, definitely let them know about Military Saves Month in April. But other ways to stay involved with us, if you are a saver, we consistently have events, town halls, and you can take the America Saves Pledge choose your savings goal, just like that resource that I was telling you about earlier. And America Saves actually stays in touch with you to help you, support you, give you advice and strategies and tips 
on how to keep on track with that savings goal. So you can do that by going to americasaves.org slash pledge. Um, and you will get all the information about when we have town halls and different events to stay engaged. If you're an employer, then you wanna join us as, an, as a partner organization where we keep resources for you to share with your employees, um, whether it be about saving, reducing debt, um, workplace savings. So we have lots of resources to join us if you're an employer who wants to make sure that you are pouring into your employees with some financial wellness um, ideas. So lots of ways to stay in touch with, with us. Just go to americasaves.org and you'll see where you can sign up to stay on our, our lists. Yeah, and, and if you're not uh, happy financially, it, it affects your mental health. So really important to stay engaged for people. Check out americasaves.org, all the great work that's being done. Kia, great to talk to you. Thanks so much for joining us. And we look forward to having you back on the program again very soon. Can't wait. Thanks. That wraps up this episode of BRNAM. Have a topic of interest, someone you think we should talk to, drop us a line. And don't forget, for all the latest in lifestyle, finance, wellness, technology, so much more in all in one place, check out today's edition of our daily newsletter, The Morning Pulse. Want to see our latest content or search our archives? Well, check out our website and our streaming partners like Amazon, Roku, Samsung, and over 100 more. We're back again tomorrow for BRN Weekly. We'll be taking a look back at some of our best segments. For the week. Until then, I'm Jeff Snyder. Stay safe, keep on saving, and don't forget, roll with the changes. Now is your opportunity to co-create content around any topic on the first lifestyle and wellness network. Reach a global audience through our platform and co-own exclusive branded content. All of our programs are available on demand and also as audio only podcasts so you can take us on the go. Broadcast Retirement Network, available anytime, anywhere, and on any device. Are you being audited? And do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Is the IRS threatening to take more of your money? Don't fight the IRS alone. The Tax Doctor is here to help you negotiate your tax bill and reduce your stress. The IRS can freeze your assets and seize your bank accounts, but you can stop these IRS actions. The Tax Doctor will work with you using our years of experience to represent your case to help you get the best resolution under the IRS guidelines. Help is here to deal with the IRS to reduce your stress. We've handled thousands of cases, so we know what we're doing. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, do not call the IRS alone. Call a Tax Doctor now for a tax emergency analysis. Call 800-224-6439.